And so today it's a very festive theme as we look at a very festive tour bus in front of us. I think we're going to see a few of those because we're on, uh, right on the sidewalk across from this famous department store. What I wanted to do originally was to use my iPad to pop some images in front of here, but turns out that's not really working well either today. There's some, some kind of weird like glare or, or some weird bizarre glitch or something. So what I'm going to do is in post uh, for the YouTube replay, uh, I'm going to go in and edit some photos of what these previous facades looked like because I wanted to call this episode uh, Cr Christmas Past and Present at the Galerie Lafayette. So, you know, this idea of sort of the, 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 the ghost of, of Christmas past. And uh, what happened was, ooh, it's so crazy and loud here. In the 20s and the 30s, the idea of, of decorating the Galerie Lafayette for Christmas became a, uh, an institution, a tradition. Now, they started in uh, 1912 was the very first time, which is when they completed this building. But uh, it wasn't until the 20s or 30s they started to commission proper artists and designers to do these full-scale, beautiful, elaborate um, Christmas designs that were installed temporarily here. Uh, we're not quite so lucky in 2019. We've just got Kira Knightley, which, you know, I'm not... I'm not going to badmouth Kira Knightley. I think she's quite a lovely looking gal, but you can see that nowadays is not so, not so elaborate, which is a shame. I hope they bring that back. They've also been doing, um, since the 20s, uh, an internal Christmas tree display, which I will pop some images up right now in the replay uh, for that. So hopefully you'll enjoy those. That's been uh, a tradition. And this year they're doing a bee theme, a beehive type theme, and you're going to see the window displays right over here as we walk along have a theme of bees and beehives. So let's go, enough of staring at Kira Knightley. Uh, let's check out these windows. I've got an extender here on my equipment, so I think we're going to need it. We're going to need it to get above all these, these heads. Woo. As you can see, very popular here. Uh, difficulty level 10 for me pulling off this live stream. I think I'm the only one crazy enough to try to live stream this whole thing. <laughs> People are waving. That's a nice composition, is it, with the metro sign? Really nice. Ooh, I'm already getting jostled around a lot. Oh, la la. This is a, <laughs> this is insane. Okay, let me get us started here. As you can see, uh, B theme. The windows will start off a little modest and then they'll get bigger and grander. Oh, la la. I am absolutely getting mobbed here. Ooh, this is intense. <laughs> the B symbol has been very widespread in France going back to the 19th century, um, representing industry, you know, worker bees and uh, commerce. It was also a popular symbol for the Bonaparte family. So our two Napoleon emperors, uh, number one and number three, used the B extensively to represent their family. So they're on the Louvre and the other facades of Parisian buildings and French buildings in general. Corin Mateo says, you are brave. There's no way I could do that. Yeah, Corin, I'm feeling some, you know, agoraphobia and claustrophobia vibes here, I must admit. It's not a very pleasant... I think this is the first Saturday that these have been visible. Uh, so people are going absolutely nuts here. If you can see the crowds. It's not moving much anymore. Here we can see... Uh, cosmetics set up. Of course, they're always trying to sell stuff.
I haven't gotten pickpocketed yet, so so far so good. This one at the top, you can see it's called La Patinoire de Miel, which would mean the ice rink of honey, the honey ice rink. Let's see if we can get in a little bit closer. Holly Mackler says, thank you for dealing with the crowds for our enjoyment. Absolutely, Holly, anything for you. I want to try to show you a little bit of what's going on. You can see they put the Black Friday, this is really disgusting. Temporarily, at least, they put this huge Black Friday advertisement on some of the larger windows, which really takes away from the, from the vibe. Well, let me see if I can get closer. This is an absolute zoo. Oh, I got it. I see an opening. I see an opening. There you go. Oops. I doinked into the window as usual. So bees, bees, bees all around. There we go. We finally got a little moment of meditation amid all of this hoopla. Hey Marlene, who says, what a treat to be able to see these windows. I'm glad you think so. As I said earlier, this is an absolute institution. It's been going on widespread since the 20s and 30s. So we're just uh, playing, playing out our own part of the history of Paris here, which is nice. Um, so we've got shoppers and tourists and families with their young kids. Try, try not to push too many kids out of the way because obviously this is more for them than for me. Okay. There we go. Oh, this is insane. I'm getting pushed, pushed around by everybody. <laughs> this year there are 11 scenes, 11 windows uh, with 14 characters, B-related characters. And each of these window projects takes about a year to complete from start to finish. The designing, the building, the execution, the installation, of course. It's insane. Let's get a little closer here. Shoulders getting a crazy workout today. You know what's funny? I'm getting more muscled by the kids than by their parents. Which is fine, you know? They should be excited. Really elaborate stuff. Of course, they're selling shoes. Oh, I gotta let the kids go. Oh la la, oh la 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 la. <laughs> the ab absolute invasion of kids. Uh, pardon. 
And of course, like the size of my backpack. Oh là là. Wow. Bah, doucement, s'il vous plaît. Pardon, madame. Okay. Oh la la, and I got my huge bag on. Absolutely impossible. At least gives you an idea without having to deal with everybody here. I can see some of you lamenting the Black Friday decals. I agree. And uh, I mean, part of me would have wanted to wait until those were gone, but then I also wanted to show everybody this as soon as I could. This is the first Saturday that they're visible and available, so I thought I was trying to be, trying to be topical. Oops. So it's a trade-off. I agree, it's a, a bad choice on their part. I mean, everybody knows it's Black Friday. We don't need yet another reminder. Let me try to go on the outer perimeter here. Oof. Let's try to get closer to this one. This one's called the banquet, so I really want to give you an idea of this one. Can't even get close to it. One of the more adventurous, <laughs> some lady just, <laughs> thank you, thank you. It's not easy on huh, these crowds. Not easy at all. Merci, c'est gentil, merci, thank you. Hopefully that gives you an idea. Onward, onward. Shuffling, shuffling, shuffling. Oh boy. You'll forgive me for not reading your comments. I got my screen up so high I can't even see them. Uh, okay, camera work, camera work. Hold on. Oh. Ah. Uh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay, it looks like we got one more. And you've got, by the way, at the same time, look at this, people just pouring out of Gallery Lafayette. Like an endless river of more and more people getting dumped into this area. But hey, it's the Christmas spirit, folks. We're just going with it. We're rolling with the punches here. This one's called the sending of the presents, sending of the gifts.
tripping over a stroller. Don't forget everyone, it's Black Friday. Lest we forget, oh my goodness. But hey, you know what? It's still damn good to be in Paris. Holiday season. Healthy, happy, sparkly lights. So we're not gonna complain. All right, folks, uh, that's our public version. My Patreon supporters are gonna switch over to our private Facebook group for Printemps, which is over this way. Printemps has its own set of windows as well. So give me about five minutes to get over there, go into our cafe chats, Facebook group. And if you want to become a Patreon subscriber and help me plow through more crowds and motivate me to do so, then go ahead. You'll find a link in the description of this video. But this was a little look at the Galerie Lafayette as we head in full throttle to the Christmas season, the holiday season. And thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And I'll see you for number 71 soon. And uh, if you can't bring yourself to Paris, if you can't bring yourself to these insane crowds, then I will bring them to you. Gosh darn it. Anyway, long goodbyes. You know, I'm really bad at them. Have a nice day. And I'll see my patrons, my Patreon folks in a few minutes. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.